Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's Telly's Mental Wealth, we're gonna be discussing how can someone who's dealing with introverted feelings, who deals with anxiety, do these exercises or techniques to help them be able to combat social anxiety. I was recommended to do this by a follower of mine on Instagram and I thought it was a great idea. I have somewhat of an experience of having my partner deal with anxiety and social anxiety. And I will be honest, sometimes I was not supportive. That's one thing that if you're the opposite partner who is extroverted, the main thing that you have to do is be as supportive as possible and just learn to work as a team. Now I'm gonna first talk about the things that you shouldn't do when you try to put yourself out there or be in a social setting. And then I'm gonna talk about the things you can do to help you get a little relaxed, help you get through the social experience or gathering. So let's get to it. Now the things that you shouldn't do is, I know it's gonna be a hard one to hear, a lot of people may not agree, but I've noticed that this doesn't help in the long run. It creates a lot more problems and dependency. And the number one thing you should not be doing is relying on alcohol or smoking marijuana. Now, I do agree with doing CBD and you do create barriers to the point where, let's say if you want to take your own car to the location so that you can leave whenever you feel like leaving once you don't feel comfortable anymore. You're going to either have to get an Uber to drive you over there or and then drive you back home. And sometimes finances could be an issue. So relying on alcohol and marijuana could be a negative aspect, and like I said, in the long run, because you don't want to risk getting a DUI because you have to like, you know, take a shot on the car because you can't get a DUI, you guys, if you're parked outside your home and you're drinking and smoking. And if you smoke marijuana, you can also get pulled over and get a DUI for being high under the influence, like being under the influence or vice versa drinking. So try to avoid relying on drinking or smoking weed. Like I said, CBD is completely different. It takes away the psychoactive ingredient where you feel loopy or you know you get that 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 psychedelic feeling out. So CBD could be an alternative. So that is a do, but don't do smoking weed before you leave. Or it's it also too is not worth you smoking weed outside of the place i mean you can take edibles but the thing with edibles is that if you don't purchase in a place where it's legit where the cbd is actually or the thc and cbd is is actually calculated correctly sometimes you'll get a dose that's too high to the point where it might even cause you to have even more anxiety so just keep in mind in regards to that when it comes out to taking edibles it, it, it could vary sometimes and it might say it has this amount but in reality it has way more and then it could just make you want to leave sooner and now another thing that you shouldn't do is be too hard on yourself like don't psych yourself out don't overthink it just remember it's one day at a time one gathering at a time it's gonna take time for you to eventually build the confidence and feel comfortable in cer certain social gatherings just don't be so hard on yourself just be easy on yourself that's the really really important because once you're more comfortable and you have that confidence it'll help you with going to a social gathering the things that you can do is find a code word with you and your partner find a word that you guys can use when you can let them know hey i'm ready to go and this will allow you guys to communicate in a way where it's discreet and it doesn't make you feel uncomfortable or make you more anxious that you got to tell the person like in front of everybody or you don't want to make people feel uncomfortable so that's make sure you pick a code word you know pick a code word that you guys are both gonna gonna understand another thing that can really help too is talking about it before you guys leave to the gathering talking about a time frame like how long are we gonna be there are we gonna be there two hours one hour three hours if i don't feel good or if it's already past the two hours and you want to stay there what's another thing that we can do if you still want to stay of course the other option is is going in separate cars that's why i was saying like you know you just never know if if you ever want to leave and drive back home or get an uber that could be another alternative that you can do to help you feel uh that you're in control to some extent once you're already drained because when you're very introverted, being on social gatherings will drain you. It's just, that's the type of things that a lot of introverted people 
feel uh, versus an extroverted extroverted person they feel more energized and they feel like wow you know i like this and they're just more upbeat so think about a, of a time frame that you guys can agree on a plan b about like okay so if it's already past the time frame and you want to stay how can i go home or can i come back and pick you up you know that could, those are other options that you can also do um but taking a car too could be a, a helpful idea where you guys can go in separate cars okay so that's definitely two options that you can do to make you feel more comfortable and remind yourself like oh i got options ones i don't want to be there anymore another suggestion that i could provide for you is if you feel comfortable depending on the setting you could definitely ask ahead of time if you are close to the person wherever you're going if it's a family gathering hey you know can i be in a room to recharge once I feel tired. You could definitely try that. If that option is available, have the courage to ask the person, hey, you know, sometimes after a certain period of time, I feel really drained and tired. Can I lay down in your bed or lay down in the couch or the living room? Because you never know, maybe the gathering is outside and, and the inside is, is nobody's inside. So you could definitely ask to see if you can recharge and just kind of isolate yourself for a little while to recharge. That's definitely an option that you can do if you have that that availability and if you have the comfortability to communicate with the person about it and they they're different they they understand. If you do have access to a room where you can kind of recharge, that's going to be your time to practice some of your coping skills and interventions. If you like to fidget, do certain things, have little devices to help you relax, take deep breaths in a private manner because although I can suggest for you to do interventions and coping skills out in the open, sometimes someone who's introverted or suffers with anxiety, that's gonna make them feel more anxious and worried that people are gonna judge them for taking deep breaths or pulling out the little device to help them relax. This is your time to do it in a private manner and go somewhere where you feel relaxed and then do your thing. And then hopefully once you're ready, you'll go back out there and socialize and not feel so drained. Another suggestion that I can provide is be around people who don't have such high energy and kind of are your level. If you start to kind of conversate and hang around with people where your energy is at, that will reduce your energy to not get drained. So kind of scope out the area or if it's a family gathering you kind of already know like oh this person is kind of like me they're very chill they're very quiet i'm just gonna sit right there next to them so i don't feel obligated to have a conversation or you know or communicate more than what i want to scope out the scene you know <laughs> you're gonna see who are the ones that you click the most so Find the people that are on your energy level. That's another thing that you could definitely do so that you don't rely on substances. If you're trying to stay away from drinking or um, doing marijuana, because like I said, you can you could definitely think like, oh, okay, you know what, I'm gonna go smoke once I'm at the place, but you're risking for you to have a panic attack and your anxiety to increase. That's why I'm suggesting for you to just have CBD things so that you can take versus mixing the TEC. The last thing that I would suggest is you could definitely wear your AirPods or any air, like headphones where you want to listen to the music on the other side because if classical music makes you relax, if whatever type of music you listen to that actually helps you relax, or maybe you need to hear a mantra or maybe you need to hear certain, what's that one, the meditation, you could definitely have it in, in your ear and listen to it while you're in that gathering if you feel comfortable enough to do that in front of people but of course your other option is to ask to see if you could go into a room and listen to it to help you calm down and that's about it you guys i really thought about it as to try to be as creative as possible i'm sure there's other things out there that i didn't think of so if you have anything that's worked for you please share it, share it in the comment section because the more that we share as a community and we share ideas the more that we can help each other as a whole because some people may think of something else that i didn't think of and it'll be super helpful so hopefully this video helped out in whatever capacity please share this video for someone who is is wants to learn about how they can control their anxiety and hang out in social gatherings if they're very introverted and the things that they shouldn't do so i hope to see you guys in my next video thank you for watching all the way to the end and i'll talk to everybody later bye